Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a brand new budget brand of solar panels for you today. Gonna check out these CalSun 100 watt panels today, see if they're worth it and how good they perform. Let's get right into it. So when I got these CalSun panels, I was very impressed at the packaging. These have got to be the best packaged solar panels that i have received let me show you how they are packaged uh, a lot of times you get panels that are broken and things like that but these right here check this out right here look at that they've got foam around each panel right there uh, protecting it and you got a spacer against the side so the panels you know arrived in great shape no damages no dents anything like that a lot of other panels i've gotten are damaged in shipment and let me show you this right here too while i got you on this camera angle they even got a plastic uh, corner guard in there underneath the polystyrene right there so see extra protection to make sure your panels arrive safely so i chose two panels out of the set of four for today's test i've got them off to the side right here and no these on the outside are not damaged i just grabbed the two center ones because it's easier the manual is down in the bottom so i've got the two panels right here i'm gonna run the test on to see the consistency between each panel just give you a view of these panels, how they're made. They're 10 bus bar, park cell. And then here's our junction box. Everything looks professionally made on here. We'll take this cover off right here and we'll check the junction. So look in the junction box right here and show you the soldered connections on everything. Try to get you a good shot of that and how the diodes are connected. Uh, decent quality, not too bad at all for a budget friendly panel. A two and a half millimeter conductor right there. Um, if where did I say it? Right there. Two and a half millimeter conductors right there on this panel. There's the specs on the back of the panel right there and some dimensions. And now you don't have to convert those metric measurements over to Imperial right there, 22 and three quarters wide, 42 and an eighth tall, and an inch and an eighth thickness. And on the back of the aluminum frame, we do have pre-drilled mounting holes in the normal locations, uh, grounding locations, everything else you'd expect out of a quality PV module. And these are monocrystalline half cut cells. Just showing you know, the bus bars and general cell construction and the glass looks very clear on these. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm at solar noon. I've got two Cal Sun panels. We're gonna do A and B. Uh, so two random units to check the consistency between each panel. Um, angle optimized the best I could get. So I'm gonna see what they do after they fully heat soak. And I'll give you a shot of the current sky conditions for the test. And a real time sky condition at time of test. You can see I've got some diffuse water vapor and some diffuse clouds. So not completely clear or cool for the test on these Cal Sun solar panels. And for reference, panel A, serial number right there. Panel B, serial number right there. So. Okay, so I've had a cloud come over the sun, a little passing cloud, and let that pass before I run the test on these panels. I've had the little test meter right here underneath the panels the whole time the panels have been out. So the actual ambient temperature outside is 88.7 degrees Fahrenheit or 31.5 degrees Celsius, so fairly warm. And I've also got a Type K temperature sensor strapped to the back of the panel right there so I can get an actual module temperature when the test starts. Okay, now time for the test on the panels. The sun came out from behind the cloud. I had to wait about five or 10 minutes for that cloud to pass. Our ambient has gone up to 91.2 degrees, 32.9 Celsius in the shade under the panel. All right, and the actual back of the cell modules right now, uh, I'm expecting this to probably warm up a little bit, but 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 Celsius. I'll keep this live as I test. So I'm gonna test panel A now, the one the temperature sensor is on strapped onto on the back right there taped down so the temperature of the panel is 124.7 degrees fahrenheit 51.5 celsius i'm going to connect panel a to my solar panel multimeter right there my Joy meter and try to get you a good angle where you can see let me turn the backlight on and i'm going to track this panel 95.07 watts out of a nominally rated 100 watt panel not bad at all not bad all right, give it a few minutes. I'm going to track it again. Now that's warmed up even more. 93.96 watts. 
I'm getting a little interference from some water vapor and clouds. I said not ideal test conditions and by no means laboratory test conditions. So while I've got similar sun, I'm gonna move over to panel B, test panel B now. We'll move over to panel B. I'm still dealing with water vapor and a few clouds coming in. So we're gonna see what it can do. S most similar sky conditions I can replicate, which here we go, we'll check panel B. While I've got closest conditions I can, I can see here. So let's put panel B to the test and see what it makes. 92.51 watts on panel B. I'll give it a minute and see if I can get a little bit better reading, if I get a little bit more sky clarity. All right, still on panel B, still battling clouds and water vapor. Track it again and see what we get. 91.57. So it's fairly consistent using my best judgment on the sky conditions. That's 93, so climbing, get a little bit more uh, sun coming through. That's pretty good. And hit it one more time, do a manual track on it one more time. 94.71, climbing. Excellent. The panel is completely heat soaked and still, yeah, there we go, 97.03 now and climbing. Wow. Very impressive. I have a 100 watt panel. 98.76. Every time I track it, it gets better because the sun's come out a little stronger. 99.42. Wow. Wow. I'm very impressed with these panels. 99.53. So 99.53, and now I'm getting some water vapor moving back in front of the sun, blocking me a little bit. So wow, that's that's pretty good. Real life test condition. And immediately moving back over to panel A to get a module temperature the actual panel temperatures 134.2 degrees fahrenheit and still putting out right at nameplate rating nice back over on panel a just one more time i don't know if i'm gonna get the full high 90 watts again because we've got some more water vapor coming up there we go 98.10 watts pretty impressive let me hit it one more time Let's see what we get right here 98.34 i could put it on auto track so we'll let it auto track for a minute and let the little meter just scroll through and test sample every 15 seconds. And I'll fast forward this. There we go, 99.08. So I'm gonna see what the best I can get. All right, so hopefully that demonstrates how good these Cal Sun panels are doing in 90 degree ambient temperatures uh, with not even completely clear skies so i would uh highly suspect in the winter time with crystal clear skies and cold temperatures these will do well over their nameplate rating wow very impressive performance out of these cal sun 100 watt panels and there's the cal sun 100 watt panel versus another 100 watt panel so uh, the cal sun appears to be about maybe an inch wider than that other 100 watt panel so Trying to give you apples to apples comparisons. So you know, I just tested two panels today. I'm gonna to be hooking these up to a charge controller, run them long term. So we gotta wrap this video up. Got some severe thunderstorms inbound. I'm uh, gonna share my final thoughts on these Cal Sun panels right here. Uh, budget friendly, at time of filming, these panels are just a tick over $50 per panel. So not a bad price for Amazon panels. And I spoke to the manufacturer before filming this video asking about tariffs or duties on these panels. These are made in Vietnam and they have some on shore in the US and I don't see a projected price increase for the next few weeks. But you know, with uncertainty on all the trade policies, maybe act sooner than later just trying to give you all the information i can on these panels let me know what you think about these cal sun budget friendly 100 watt panels is it something you know you'd be interested in do you have some of these what kind of panels do you have let me know in the comments hope you all enjoyed the video today y'all take care be safe i'll see you on the next one special thanks to cal sun providing these panels for testing and demonstration today and you'll see them again on an off-grid system thank you